What up, everybody? This is our last break of Fanatics Under Wraps Next Level Baseballs. It's a three box break. This is break number 11. Um, what I did here are the 20 names right here. I just quadrupled them. So if you bought one spot, you'll see your name four times. Um, here is a list of autographed baseballs. Remember, any game day level autographed game used baseballs automatically go to that spot, regardless of the player. And any legendary level autographed baseballs go to that spot regardless of the player. It should say on the card. So once I read out the name, you'll know. But we've done a lot of these, so everyone knows the rules. One break. Everyone knows the rules. All right. Nine times. Nine times on both lists. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. George, last spot mojo at the top there, down to James. And I won't be reading off the whole list, but I'll share the link with the chat and then uh, go by name by name. Kinda. Nine times on the players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. The Chicken Man, Wade Boggs, at the top, down to A Rod. So here you go. Here is the link in the chat. I don't want you to be able to edit it. Just view. Sorry. Um, and I'll go through it down. I'll go through uh, the list one time and then I'll A through Z it. So there we go. And then A through Z on your names. So Adam, here's who you got right there. Bradley B. Big Boys 007. Eric I, George W, James, Kevin, Michael C, sorry, and Michael P right there. Ooh, wow. Those names are nice. Richard Johansson. I'm not sure if the J is silent, but I always hear Joe say it like that, so that's how I'll say it. Stephen K with a bunch of spots there. And TJ. If you need me to read off your players, let me know before we start. Um, if you are unable to open the spreadsheet. And I'll give it a, a minute or so on trade since this is our last break. No rush. Give it a minute or so. I don't think there's usually any trades on the the um, memorabilia, but you never know. Kevin Durant's got to be seven foot, right? Why do they list him shorter? I don't get that. Is it because he doesn't want to tell people he's seven foot? He's got to be because he towers over these guys. That's crazy. Todd Reardon, how's it going? I saw your hit the other night. Quite quite a hit there. Congrats. I'll have to post that to Instagram and uh, and Facebook tomorrow. I posted the MJ first. Sorry if although you're a Chicago guy, you get get the MJ. I'll post the Baker tomorrow. All right, any trades? Anybody want to trade? Anybody need their need their list named off? Last call. I'll name off who gets what. And I open it as well. So this will be our last break, but I will be posting a bunch of more stuff to the site once I head off air. Um, mixers, 
We got some more cases coming in tomorrow. A lot of night, neat stuff. And of course, the big release this week. 2019 Tops Tier 1 Baseball. The biggest baseball release of 2019 so far. Um, Inception was pretty big, but we do more Tier 1, I think. So, You got the, the bat knob chase and all that. Um, no more flawless right now, but we might have some more high-end football tomorrow. Definitely check out the site. If you're signed up for our emails, I'll just try to send out an email as um, soon as possible when I post that stuff. So be sure to sign up for our newsletter. He's just, yeah, I mean, he could definitely play center. He would probably need to add weight, though, right? But I don't know. He's one heck of a heck of a basketball player all right trade windows closed i didn't see any trading going on these are all from break 11 we opened it during break 10 joe did and i'll do a little who am i trivia i'm sometimes impatient though and i don't wait for someone to guess Sneak out this baseball. The Fanatic jerseys, you mean? Without showing the card here. Alright, first hint is he's a character on The Office. If anyone ever watched that TV show on NBC. He's also a first baseman. He made his MLB debut in 2004. He's a three-time All-Star. Born in St. Louis, Missouri. He won MVP in 2006. Two-time NL home run champion. He was the... He's a member of the 50 Home Run Club, which has to be pretty big by now, right? In a single season. He had 58 home runs in his sophomore season. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What else has he got here? Any guesses? 13 years for this team. He's only played for one team. In 2006, he hit 58 home runs, batted 313, won MVP. <laughs> Michael Scott. Not Michael Scott, but he shares a name with a character on The Office is what I meant. And I think he's been on the show, too, himself. Um, what other hints can I get? He's retired. He retired in 2016. I mean, he had a great start to his career, this player, and then kind of fell off. I think due to injuries, maybe, he kind of hit a, a big downslope. But he was, I mean, he was up there. He was maybe top five best player in the MLB at, at one point, hitting-wise. Obviously won MVP in 2006, so he was the best 2006. Kevin Knox, all right. It is, I'm just going to show you guys. It is Philadelphia Phillies first baseman Ryan Howard. I thought the office would give away. I guess we don't have any office fans in here. Who's got Ryan Howard? That's TJ. TJ with Ryan Howard. There you go, TJ. There is the congrats card with the Fanatics Authentic in there. You can also tag them on Instagram. So there you go, TJ with the first baseball.
All right, box number two. Really? Nobody got that? Wow. Oh, there you go. Bear down. It must be lagging. I'm like 30, 30 minutes ahead of that. I know, I'm in the future here. All right. This one's nice. Great timing to get this one. Other than Cody Ballinger, you can argue that this guy might be the best hitter so far this year. He won the NL MVP last year. That should give it away. NL MVP winner last year. He's already got 15 home runs this year. Almost half of the home runs he hit in uh, 2018. This is a great one. Great one to get. That is going out to Eric I. That is Christian Yelich. Very nice one. Back in 2017, this might not have been a huge hit, so... Good that we opened a couple years later because he's really uh, progressed as a ball player. Christian Yelich, debut level, Javier Baez. I guess you could argue he should have won. Although there might be some bias coming from Todd. The Cubs guy. All right, so Fanatics. Eric, I... Congrats. And now, he does look like Pete Davidson, huh? Although, I can't hate on Pete Davidson. All right. And the third box, good luck. All right, this guy got elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1991. He made his ML debut, MLB debut in 1962 for the San Francisco Giants. And his last appearance was 21 years after that. And that was for the Kansas City Royals. Win-loss record of 314 and 265. ERA of 3.11, 3,500 strikeouts. He pitched a no-hitter on September 17th, 1968. He is in two teams' Hall of Fames. He's a five-time All-Star, two-time Cy Young winner, three-time wins leader. He played for, I didn't know he played for this many teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine teams. He was born in Williamston, North Carolina. And he was named after a close friend of his father's who died while having his teeth pulled, according to Wikipedia. He studied at Campbell University. I'm just going to read off the whole wiki. wiki. The current mascot of the Campbell Fighting Camels and Lady Camel is Gaylord the Camel, named in honor of Gaylord Perry. It is Mike Tower and Jay got it. And look at this. It's a legendary level. So that goes to the legendary level spot, and that is TJ. All legendary level autographed baseballs. Ooh. You got all those inscriptions on there too. Nice. 
I could have just read off the inscriptions. There's his ERA, there's his whip. Innings pitch, strikeouts, two-time Cy Young, five-time All-Star, Gaylord Perry, Hall of Fame, 1991. Not sure what this is. Uh, this number. Oh, that's his win-loss record. What's the 9-17-18 when he signed it, maybe? But that can't be possible. Maybe, uh, I don't know, but nice ball. That's some of the most inscriptions I've ever seen on a single baseball. Fanatics Authentic. So there you go, TJ. So thanks, everybody, for getting in. Appreciate it. I know, he put, like, his social security number on there. Um, that was Fanatics Autograph Baseball's three-box break number 11.